Good evening to you. This evening, I'm going to um, present an example of Assignment 1, Question 9, for COS 1511, 2021 or 2016, whichever one you choose, Semester 1, Assignment 1, Question 9. Alright, so first of all, we have to boot up our um, computer. Alright. And then we have to open up our code blocks. So this is a snippet of my code. Alright. Let me see if I can make it any bigger. Alright. So according to the question, if I have a look at the question here, it says, suppose a new member of the city council has to be chosen from three candidates. And suppose there are four voting stations. We need a C++ program that will count the votes for every candidate and display the result. At every voting station, the voters vote by choosing A, B or C on a ballot paper. The voting officer must enter the votes into the program so that they can be counted. X is entered when all the votes at a specific voting station have been entered. The program has the following structure. The three totals and the number of spoiled votes are initialized to zero. Use the following integer variables, votes for A, votes for B, votes for C, and spoiled votes. So if you have a look here at my code, I've started by including the input output stream all right I'm using the namespace standard then I've started my main with int main and I've opened brackets close brackets and then I've opened the proper brackets for the code so here's my three int variables and votes for a votes for B votes for C and I'm initializing them to a value of zero my last one is the integer spoiled votes and it's also initialized to zero. Okay, so let's carry on and see what else is there. Um, it says here, use a for loop going from one to the number of voting stations. Okay, so we have one to four. All right. Inside this loop is a while loop. A prompting message appears on the screen asking the voter for which candidate he or she wants to vote. The choice of the voter is then input. Inside the while loop is a switch statement to increment the, the correct total. The default option is used to count the number of spoiled votes. The while loop is exited when X is entered for the choice. When the for loop is exited, the three totals and the number of spoiled votes are displayed. Display the results as follows. Total candidate A, total candidate B, total candidate C, total spoiled votes. Run your program with the input given below and submit printouts of the program and output. We write the data of each voting station in one line, but you can you will possibly enter the values on separate lines. So if we're having a look at the code here, here's our for loop. We're starting our integer variable i at 1, so our voting station is 1. We're then saying i less than 5, which will mean i will go to, um, to 4, okay? And then i plus plus, which means i will increment as we um, exit the um, loop, okay? So here we've got our c out statement. It says Please make selections for voting station and I've got my R variable so that you can show you whether it's voting station 1, 2, 3 or 4, okay? And I've said here, I've created the char variable canned, okay? And I've said while the canned is not equal to X, then it must proceed with this loop, okay? And it says here, See out which candidate are you voting for? So that's the question, okay? And then the user will enter whichever candidate they choosing, and that would be between A, B, C, and then or X, okay? 
Then it's got my switch statement, and I'm saying switch whichever the candidate is, okay, whichever the user inputs, A, B, C, or X. Then it says here, case A is votes for A, which means it increments it by one, okay. And then we've added our break statement so that it will not continue to execute all the rest of this code. Because remember, a break uh, is sort of exiting out of the switch statement. Okay, so we've got case B, it'll increment it by one, um, and we've got our break. Then case C, it'll increment the votes for C by one, um, and then it'll break. And then, as they mentioned, uh, for the default, we must add all the spoiled votes. So I've said don't add any X um, votes here because that would be also classified as spoiled and we don't want it to be incremented. So we're saying spoiled votes um, increment by one as long as they're not an X. Okay, And then we break out. And over here, I've gone and set the candidate to O because if you just leave the candidate as X, then it'll just exit out of um, the loop all the time. So we're basically setting the candidate to O. And then over here is our final end of the for loop. So we would um, show the totals. So now if I go and I execute this code, I say run. And I have a look at the options that they're giving me here. They've said I must enter a B, 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 A, C, and then an X. Okay, so let's go and enter that. Uh, okay, we want to enter for here. Um, make sure my caps lock is on. B, 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 A, B, X. Now you see how when I X when I put an X on here, it's gone and said please make selections for station two. So if I look at this document over here, station two requires an A, B, C, D, Y, B, and then an X. Okay. So let's go and enter that. Um, okay. We want to enter. A, B, C, D, Y, B, X. Okay, as you can see, it's exited. Now we said, please make selection for station three. Station three has got what values is station three showing us? B, A, C, C, B, and X. Okay. So we're wanting to go in here and we're saying B, A, C, C, B, and X. Okay. And now we've got the final station and that's only got A, B, and then X. All right. So let's go and enter it. A, B, X. And there you'll see says total candidates A is 4, total candidates B is 8, total candidates C is 4, and total spoiled votes are 2. And that's how you do question 9. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that it's helpful and all the best with COS 1511. Thank you. Goodbye.